again with Lakeland Office Systems. In this video, we are going to set up scanning to our Canon IR Advanced Devices. Okay, to start with, what we want to do is we want to start with creating a folder for our scans to go into. So you'll simply right click on your desktop and go to New, and go to Folder. Now, this folder, we're just going to name it Scans. And we will need to share this out. So we're going to simply right click on it, go down to Properties to sharing and click the share tab. Here we want to tell it who we're going to share it with. We're going to share it with everyone. We'll hit add. Now when we do this everyone here we do want to give it read write permission. So you simply hit this um, down arrow right here underneath permission levels and hit read write. And then we'll share. We're done with that. Then we want to go into advanced sharing. So we click the advanced sharing. Go to share this folder. Put a check mark next to it. Then go to permissions. Here underneath everyone will already be listed here. We want to give that full control. So you should have a check mark next to full control, change and read. We'll hit apply and OK and apply and OK once again. Now we do want to copy this network path. We're going to need that to set up our um, address in our book there. So we're going to highlight that. We're going to right click and copy it. Okay, now that we have our network path copied, we will need to know what the IP address is for our copier so that we can log into the copier and create our address book entry. To do so, we'll simply go down here to our Windows icon, we'll right click on it, and go into Control Panel. We're going to go to Devices and Printers. Okay, so once our devices and printers are loaded, we want to find our copier. In this case, we are doing an IR Advanced C. 7055. We're going to right click on it. We're going to go to printer properties. And once the printer properties comes up, we want to click on the ports tab. And we want to extend this out and we will see our IP address with the check mark next to it. That will be your port number. So since we have that, we can close this out. So we hit OK. We'll close that out. And we'll open up our web browser. Okay, so since we have that IP address, we're going to type it in up here in our URL bar. Now yours more than likely will be different than mine, so make sure you do. Okay, so here is our copier. We'll need to log in. Our login is 7654321, and then the PIN will be the same, 7654321. So simply put that in the manager ID and the manager PIN and hit login. And once you're into it, we're going to go over here and we're going to click address book. And we're just going to make a destination here in our address list one. Click new address. Now once we get into the new address, we've got to tell it what kind of address we are creating here. Well, we're going to create a file. So we're going to select file. We're going to hit set. And for name, we want to name this. So I'll name it Lakeland. This is going to be whatever you want to name this destination so that you know you're scanning to the computer that you have that file set up or that folder set up on. So we're going to put down a host name and we're going to simply right click and we're going to hit paste. Now we have to separate this out. Host name is the first part here, the PC name. Um, the folder path is the second part. So you want to get that backslash scans right there. You want to highlight that. Right click and hit cut. Then come down to folder path and right click and hit paste. So if you'll see right here, what we have done is we have split up that entire host name there. So we have the host name here, which is the computer's name, and then the folder path, which is the backslash folder name, so scans. And we have a user. So we want to type in our username. So you ha will have to have a username and a password for your computer in order for this to work. Um, so what you'll do is you'll type in the username and username and then the password that goes along with that. And you will have to try to type in the password twice. Okay, so at this point we should have everything in there. So we're going to hit OK. And we have that in there. Uh, the next thing to do would be to go and test it. So let me go test that, and we'll be right back.
Okay, so we have sent a scan from the copier to our computer. If you'll see here, we actually show now that there is a file in our scans folder. So we click on that and click on our file. It will pop up. It was just a simple blank sheet of paper there, but we do have a scan there. So, okay. Well, this completes this video. If you have any questions, please give us a call, and we'll see if we can help you. Thank you for watching.